Yo guys, what's happening? Your boy Kiji here for So I got another gaming question for you guys. Right, the first gaming question that I had was on a previous video where it was, what's the most you've ever spent on a game in a single payment and overall, right? And this one is, what's the games that you are most pro in? Like everybody play games, and if you play a game and you don't reach end game, I don't know. For me personally, there is like like a deep longing for to be an endgame character in that game if the game doesn't suck right or if you play the game for a long long time you obviously have to reach pro right so um, for me personally the games that i was most pro in uh smite is the first one i'll mention right now for smite i have a few gods on x level I, uh and i know how to play every god because i bought the uh the ultimate god pack uh, so I unlock every guard and every new guard that comes out I automatically unlock it so I have an opportunity to play every character right and I would say because I play so much smite every guard basically comes easy for me right so um my main guard in smite is Loki because I play a lot of arena I don't play a lot of uh, ranked and the reason why I don't play a lot of ranked is because uh, first and foremost I wanted a better computer to play ranked and after I got the computer eh, I was like whatever I prefer arena over like conquest because there are a lot of fucking stupid people in conquest as well like in terms of like you're gonna start a fucking game in conquest and if one person decides to be a cunt you, the, it's a loss it's a fucking loss like it just pisses me the fuck off conquest just pisses me the fuck off to a point where I no longer play it and I prefer to play either Assault or Arena where you don't necessarily need a freaking teammate in order to win. Honestly. Like, that, that's just me. Play it out, fuck being, play out fucking honest. Like, so I have a Loki with like, maybe like 4.5k 4 kills, 4.5k assists. Uh, like 300, 300 or something wins I think. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's like really decent stats for a guard. I do have like other X characters like Neath. And you know what not um, so that's my first game now one thing I would say about that game is that uh, it is a really popular MOBA I do prefer it over League and it's really balanced and every match is different every match is different there's no two smart matches that are the same like even if you're playing same guards same people same map it's a different fucking match honestly like that's that's one thing I really like about it so I played it like I not even just played like no life mode like OP grind sesh it to a point where I'm really really pro in it another game that I went really really pro in uh, Crystal Saga it's a browser based MMORPG that you can find on R2 games uh, yeah I'm really really pro in that game as well like for that game it's all about who levels up the fastest it's not even about uh, how good your character looks or how good you are in a single battlefield or whatever like no one gives a fuck about that to be plain out honest it's who is the highest level who is the richest and who has the most honor points at the end of the day and at the end of the day if i if i touch down on a cs fucking server then all hell break loose honestly there is no one that is going to touch me on a cs server and i could assure you that like um I must go up at least one level every fucking day regardless of whatever level you're on like I remember like when you reach like some people take like two three days to go up one level I always tell them you guys waste a lot of time in CS you guys waste a lot of time doing a lot of stupid bullshit in CS for example the auto tracking is just bullshit you have teleportation scrolls in CS teleport and don't auto track I tell them if you really want to race because we usually race for the first week and we race up to 50 and then at that point it's whoever buys the most tenets is the most OP right so and I was playing CS even before there were like tenets and zodiacs and all that sort of shit I was playing CS before it was pay to win you know the only thing that you used to pay to win for the only thing that you actually used to pay for were like VIP your costumes and if you wanted like a burning angel or a demon king at this point there are even like upgrades to those two which is the guardian angel and uh, I forgot what the other one is I forgot what the other one is because I usually go to guardian angel uh, is it Demon Emperor? I think it's Demon Emperor or some shit like that, right? Um, the best class in CS, you either go Knight 
or ranger every other class is dog shit honestly i will tell you every other class is dog shit now um you can do well in the other classes some people might go priest if you want to solo blessed bath at level 50 i believe that's when you be able to solo blessed bath but honestly i go either tank or ranger if you go tank you do your dungeons easy you run through your dungeons you can easily tank the dungeons when you do pvp you can easily kill just about everybody really and truly the only people you might have a hard time with are the ones that could kite you that's the one reason why i don't like going tank sometimes but when it comes to ranger i can go ranger easily and just fuck up everything in the server easily like if i go ranger i'm gonna give you a secret when it comes to rangers the strongest build in the fucking game in cs is um a nature ranger with high high basic damage by basic attack damage that is the most op build in cs and this is talking from personal experience right you make a ranger you max out magic arrows and you just go pure int you do not give it any agility you do not give it anything else pure int ranger max out magic arrows you get sands of time and you get magic arrows and you get the upgraded to the upgrade to magic arrows i think on level 50 you max that out you use the sands of time so you you don't waste skill points on the previous uh downgraded max uh, magic arrows that i had before and that sort of shit um and you can easily hit everybody the reason why it is more op than the crit build is because you're not reliant on your crits like i know some people like i remember i once played on a cs server and i was fighting this one dude and i kind of lagged out on it in terms of like um in terms of uh, my leveling because I'm usually like top level at least top three right because like I said I always level up like I can reach level 30 in the first day and that's something some people can't do I can reach level 30 in a few hours so I usually like I'm the first to farm vault uh, I'm usually like the only person in dragon in the um, dragon spine battle arena when it comes to getting the dragon sword I'm usually the only person there when the first one opens right because I'm usually the only person that reaches 40 on the server at the time right but yeah you max out your magic arrows and it's OP it's OP as fuck you give yourself oak skin and uh, all the healing skills all the passives all the passives oak skin all the healing skills and you max out your magic arrows you go pure int you could solo any dungeon and you rip every single class in arena because not, not a lot of people um have a magic defense right um you can easily rip a knight a knight usually goes physical defense or they have to share between physical defense and magical defense when it comes to rogues rogues you just put down your wither trap you catch them in the wither trap and you rip them it's easy effortless another game that i'm that i'm really really pro in fly for fun no the reason why i'm really pro in fly for fun is because it's really old it's one of the first mmy pieces i ever played right I'm, I'm really 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 pro in fly for fun like i used to like like it wasn't even like when they made like new classes like force master and templar and slayer and all that sort of shit just to gain more popularity like it was like classic classic fliff uh i think the max level at the time the first max level i believe was 101 I think and then the second one was 120 I think I think that's how it was or something like that now I started playing it when the max level was 120 right and you obviously grind up to 120 you reset to master mode go back to 16 you grind back up and become a hero and whatever right uh I went BP BP is fucking awesome it's all right I like them um, in PvP it was just awesome I used to just like be in arena installing people whole day every day and in this all it's all about your your mp you have to have a lot of mp for asal and also um your cast time your cast time when it comes to you your asal versus another bp's asal and if you, you two of you can one shot each other it comes down to your fucking cast time and that's how it was that's how it was so you have to have like pro cast time pro mp shit tons of mp yeah, shit tons of mp shit tons of cast time uh I played it a lot and I had like a lot of characters. I believe it's not the, the type of game you have one character in. Like I had a blade. I had two ring masters at one point in time. Ranger. All that sort of shit. It was easy. Like I started out giant hunting and then you just walk your way up. You walk your way up and 
as soon as you touch them in your first actual uh, grindable dungeon, which is a uh, wild, which is the wild dungeon where you can get your Lusaka weapons, then you start get making shit tons of money. You could solo it on a ranger or a jester. Uh, for the ranger, you use um, I forgot what, what's the name of it. It's three three arrows that definite that indefinitely does a lot of damage. I think the arrows each arrow does a little less a little less damage than junk bow but they don't hit uh, sometimes one as junk bow and they shoot a lot faster i forgot what it was auto shot auto shot it's a level 45 skill use auto shot until you kill can or for the ranger or for the jest i mean you use heat of penya until you kill can you just do that shit auto shot dark illusion heat of penya dark illusion you kill can you get your Lusaka weapons as long as you get your first set of Lusaka weapons you get a couple hundred million dollars and then you're good to go. You're set for life in that game after you get a couple hundred million dollars. You're officially pro if you hit one parry. That was how it was back in the days in Flip. Uh, when I say back in the days, I emphasize back in the days in Flip. For current Flip, I hear, uh, well, I was actually still playing it when it got hacked and got fucked up. And when they remade it to Flip Goal, I remember me uninstalling it and then at a later date, I had a new computer, I reinstalled it and it was alright. It was out for a good while and, um, but I stopped after the inflation where everybody had everything and it was at a point where you couldn't even make no money and most of my friends already left so it was like no point in me playing flip. Like I used to play it with my cousin, I used to play it with one of my friends I used to go to school with and other guildies but you know they left so I was like fuck it. Um, then I started playing magma flip and I was really open magma flip. I was part of uh, this guild called Zephyr. Zephyr. Yeah, something like that. Z E P H Y R. Yeah, I was part of that guild for a pretty long time. Did a few PvP and all that sort of shit. And then afterwards, I stopped. I had an arsonist. Then I had an arsonist, a templar, uh, a seraph, a force master. Most of a seraph and a force master for buffs. Uh, I did also have a harlequin and. Uh, I was starting to make a crack shooter, but whatever. You made a crack shooter for um, if you wanted to, like, I don't know, a 120 grind or something, but you make way more money if you do BW farming. But, you know, that's all it is. So, I had like one hit arsonist, 176, I believe. 176 BW farming. I once grinded 16 hours in that fucking game. It was insane. It was an insane grind set, honestly. It was for the St. Patrick's Day event. It was like fucking. Awesome. I don't play any of these games. The only game that I have mentioned that I do play currently is Smite. And that's just about it. All the others, I have played them before and I no longer play them, right? Um, For everything else, I don't think... Uh, let me see. Another game that I was pretty pro in, and that was when it just, 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 just came out, was Echo of Souls. I did the close beta for Echo of Souls. And for the close beta for Echo of Souls, you had to buy something it was $25 right you buy it and then you get into the close beta for your of souls I was a pro assassin like assassin is just like an OP OP class in your of souls it wasn't even like like a normal thing like I remember like I used to be inside close beta and when I was like level 20 something I was getting top character for PvP in the battlefields and all that sort of shit and you get so much exp like i remember i went from like level 20 something to level 40 something easy it was like in maybe like two or three days just from grinding the battlefield because it was like really really easy really 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 easy actually but as usual i would uh, i just always say that the close beta in a game is uh definitely like for me more fun than the open beta where you have the cash up and uh, then the real pay to win people start by like spending I don't know like a thousand dollars on a game like I've seen people drop a thousand dollars on a game just so they could be named uh, a really OP character and sometimes it gets boring for them because when they're OP and they're ready to do certain things other people can't reach that level you know in the same time space that they did and they usually get bored and end up deleting it so you know that sort of shit happens um <clears throat> now now this game and this game just crossed my mind right monster hunter try and this is the last game i'm going to mention this game i was pro 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 
pro pro in Monster Hunter try and that was uh, it was a, I think it was a Wii exclusive game right now Monster Hunter Worlds is dropping next year that game is gonna be dope I am going to spend so much time of my life in that fucking game it doesn't even fucking make sense even fucking I don't know planning anything for the year of 2018 um but for Monster Hunter try I remember like that game was like my go-to game. I used to spend so much time in that freaking game, huh? and it wasn't even multiplayer. It was single player. In the single player mode, I used to play because at the time the multiplayer servers already closed down. Um, I remember like grinding so much fucking shit, and I what I used to do, I used to go on YouTube, and if I see somebody has a fucking video where they're killing a boss in a certain amount of time, I used to try to beat that time. Like I remember the hardest set of dungeons. Like, not like dungeons really, but the saddest the hunts in the game were Sadius, which is the last boss, which is the underwater one, and that was that was, that 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 ma that uh, match is just cancer. Everyone hates the water map, and the water map is the final final boss map. That was just cancer for me. But anyways, I was using the switch axe, right? So um, you get the Incadius, which is a water elemented switch axe, which does shit tons of damage. Uh, but the one that gave people a lot of trouble was uh the Arknocta and the Uragan at the same time where you have to hunt two of, the, two of them at the same time and I think you have to cut off the Arknocta's tail and that one's the Uragan chain or some shit like that now I've I've run that map in like nine minutes nine minutes flat and I'm fucking serious like what you gotta do you gotta get your barrel L plus bombs and your pitfall traps and you have to get stuff to forge them again while still in the map. So you have to get your freaking nets and your um your pit your trap tool and all that sort of shit. I remember like the yeah, Agnocta is just like this big fucking thing that shoots lasers and digs under the ground like a fucking land shark. And the Jurgan is just like, like a humongous dinosaur thing with a metallic chin. When it slams down what it does, it lets go like little balls of magma and sulfur and when it slams its chin down it explodes those balls right so it was like really really OP you just had to set a trap when they fall in the trap put a whole bunch of bombs in sh attack the bomb shoot the bomb uh, use one of the small bombs to explode the bombs just some shit like that game that game had me for a while yeah so those are the games that I'm really 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 pro in um I can't think of any other game that I should really 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 pro in like I have played other games to a point of like reaching really OP like Dragon Hunter, Terra, all those sort of all those sort of games right um I used to play a lot of AVA back in my days uh all that sort of shit but you know not to a point of like being pro 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 like keep in mind that I'm using pro three times pro 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 so for you guys uh leave whatever game that you're pro 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 I'm making sure that I'm using it three times again. Leave whatever games you're pro in in the comment section and uh, see what it's like. You know, however it was, what level you was on, what was your favorite grind, what was your favorite characters, you know, whatever. For me personally, uh, like I said, first one. What was the first one I mentioned? I can't even remember the first one I mentioned, should be told. Uh, I know Echo of Souls, Assassin, uh, Monster Hunter Try, uh, Heavy Armor, Switch Axe. Uh, Fly for Fun, uh, BP, uh, BP on main server, Templar on the private server of Magma Fliff, and um, I forgot the first one that I mentioned, CS, yeah, CS, either Ranger or Knight, and for, um, for Smite, Smite is the first one that I mentioned, um, for me personally, for the maps, if I'm playing Arena, I would prefer Loki. Like I said, Loki is my go-to god for Arena. Uh, you could easily hit 1 1.5, 1,500 damage on Loki plus DPS damage. The only how you can beat Loki is if you're like a hunter, or like if you're a guardian and you have Shield of Thorns. I think they renamed Shield of Thorns. I still call it Shield of Thorns though because I don't know why the fuck they renamed it. Uh, so yeah, if you're like maybe those two. But if you're a hunter and if I miss, when I stealth and if I walk up on you, you like use an escape skill and I miss and then we have that range between us, maybe you might get me if you have a lot of crit rate and crit damage. But other than that, I'm pretty OP. You can't kill me. Like I have once went 24 0 in arena with Loki and 25 1. That, those are like OP, OP fucking uh, battle records. Uh, for assault, 
Why you can't pick your Guardian Assault? My favorite Guardian Assault is Neath. Like, you can't kill me if I have Neath in Assault. Uh, for Conquest, for Conquest, I either prefer KKK, Zeus, or Zangwe. These are my go to guards. Oh, or Bacchus. I play like a mean fucking Bacchus in any fucking map. Any map. I play a mean Bacchus. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. As usual, stay awesome. Leave what games you're really pro in the comment section. Like I said, and just stay awesome.